Molland, what a result. A gritty, uh, well-earned win here at Wasps. Your thoughts on today's match? Um, I just see a lot of heart, to be honest. Um, we, we wanted to come here and make a statement. Um, you know, last year, we, we beat Saracens and we came here and then we, we let ourselves down. So we just wanted to just focus on our processes, make sure we did everything that we said we were going to do in the week. And just transfer with the good stuff we're doing in training and transferring into the game. Um, and I thought we did that in spades today. You know, the guys worked really hard for each other. Um, we, you know, we just took it step by step. You know, we didn't look too far ahead. Um, even when we were down, we were still focused on what we wanted to do and what we wanted to achieve. Um, and you no, know, there's no individual in, individual agendas today. I think the guys went out there for a clear plan of what we wanted to do, and we worked well as a team. And in the end, it paid for dividends. If it's a team game, a team win out there. Talk us through your try though. Very smart move. Smith with the crossfield kick, Brownie with the uh, volleyball style yeah. pass back inside, and it's able to finish. Uh, something that we, we we wanted to do. We practiced that in the week, so um, it's always nice when you know you, you practice those things in training and it comes off in the game. But um, you know we needed a bit of luck as well. Um, you know sometimes the ball kicks a bit too high and it doesn't quite come down. But you know we, like I said you know we stuck stuck to our game plan. We know what we wanted to achieve out of this game, and I'm just really happy. You know the guys you know put. Two for nil out there, and even at the end when it was pretty tight, you know, we kept our composure and we managed to get that penalty as well. So, um, yeah, just really happy. And hopefully now, you know, we, we, we rest up our bodies, but, you know, we've got a 6 day turn around now, so we've got to make sure we back it up against next, next week at home. Other side of the tape, defence was really strong today. I know you'll be happy to have another look back at that uh, that try-saving tackle. Talk us through that, because some people were saying it was a drop or it was your pressure. What was, what was your view? Are you probably the best person to talk us through uh, that one? Uh, to be honest, it's just... You know, we, we we try to we always speak about our scramble and stuff. So um, you know the, the game's not a perfect game. You no, know, we're we're going to make a few defensive errors, and we're coming up against a really good attack. I think you know last year that that, that side um, scored the most points in the league. So um, you know we knew we were going to be under pressure a lot. So it's just that you know that never said our attitude, and it's not just for me to be honest. It's, it's 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 a collective thing as well. You know everyone's willing to work two for nil for each other, and that was a pleasing thing. Touched on it earlier. Six day turnaround until Tigers. They got off. They got their season starting on uh, yesterday. You must be looking forward to taking them on, especially at the stoop where Quinns always back themselves. Yeah, it was, you know, being back at the stoop in front of our own supporters, you know, we love playing there. Um, but, you know, yeah, we're, we're going to enjoy tonight, um, you know, rest up our bodies, make sure we're, we're ready to train on Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, we're not really excited um, about going back to the stoop. The, the fans and supporters are always amazing. Um, you know, we had that sort of that 16th man effect in our last game. Um, we played against Gloucester and that really paid dividends towards the end. So, um, you know, really excited about getting back there. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to review the game Tuesday and then we'll look ahead to Leicester next week.